Hi, I'm Michael Costa. License plates, they help track traffic violators, but what happens when shifty citizens purposely cover them up? Ow. Sorry. Tonight on Thank Me Later, we'll meet one man who's dedicated his life to ensure that New Yorkers are being held accountable for traffic violations. I went on a bike along with this snitchalante to investigate. And you <laughs> can thank me later. Communities cheated out of improvements to roads, bridges, and other infrastructure because of people covering up their license plates. When it goes through the camera system, we can't pick it up. Officials say these scoff laws cost the city more than $100 million every year. That's right. Some New York drivers have started obscuring their plates by partially covering them. These are called ghost plates, and one man is taking it upon himself to bust these ghost plates. Hey, it's Gersh Kunstman still on the criminal mischief beat. I'm going to dedicate today to illegal covered license plates. We got a guy with a DA placard, I'll show you that in a minute, and a cover. So what even incentivized this genuine New York freak to make this his life's mission? I caught him in one of the hottest zones for ghost plates, Lower Manhattan. The issue is if you're driving around and you're speeding, and you're doing it with a covered plate, you're never gonna get the ticket and you're never even gonna realize how badly you're driving. I wanna make sure the person gets all the tickets to which he's entitled. What do you say to your critics who say, he's a snitch, he's a loser, he doesn't have a life, a hobby, a family, a job, he doesn't have friends or a social life? What do you say to those people? I'm not trying to get people tickets. What I'm trying to do is show the people who are trying to get people tickets that their system is broken. We're in New York City. There's cops everywhere. Why aren't the police officers cracking down on these ghost plates? The vast majority of the people I've caught defacing or covering their plates are cops or firefighters or court officers. I've done about 120 of these videos in the past three months, and I'd say about 70 of them were law enforcement officials. The very people who shouldn't be breaking the law are finding right. a way to break the law by defacing their plate and then break the law by then speeding. You're getting more cops tickets for speeding. Give me some. No, no, no. That's awesome. I mean, it's not, the goal is not to be an asshole. Uh, is it, the goal is to be a little bit of an asshole. When does it end? And does that mean you're in a ditch somewhere with a couple of NYPD bullets in your chest? Not that I want that. I mean, it would make a great story. I actually see two heroes here. Yeah? I see you. Thank you. Who is putting your life on the line. More or less. Enforcing law enforcement. Mm. And then I see another hero here, and that's me. Mm. Because I found you, and I'm sharing your story with others. That's exactly right. So thank you for that. You can thank me later. I'll, I'll thank you right now. That's not what the segment's called. Gersh took me on a bike along through Lower Manhattan to catch some ghost plates in action. After only a minute of biking, we hit our first offender. This is a great one. Is this normal wear and tear? And the answer is obviously no. Right. So in a situation like this, regardless of where we are, I mean, we're literally within inches of a police officer. I mean, I'm nervous right now. You're nervous. Why? <laughs> we're in a private cop lot. Yeah. And this is okay. Okay, go ahead. Well, hey, it's Gersh Gunsman. This one is just so defaced. I couldn't resist. I want him to get all the tickets he deserves. So I got my paint pen, and we're just going to fill this in for him. And just be, as a courtesy to the officer, because we are in police parking, I'll also do the New York. The, the plate cover is illegal. Right. You can see it, but if you're a speed camera, which shoots at like this angle at night, these covers are illegal for that reason. I'll probably just pull out my screwdriver and do what I do best. Okay. I just take the illegal cover and I'll just leave that on the front of the car. To show that you're not stealing it. Yeah, and I don't steal anything. And then we more or less get out of here. And then we more or less get out of here. Bye. This is now the third time I've caught this guy. Are you serious? Yeah, same cop. You've been here before. Oh yeah, actually twice. But okay. the fact that he's scraped it off again means I gotta do some more work. There's such a important part of being a pest. Yeah. In, actual, in ways to actually get shit done and to get people to respond to you, you have to be annoying. Well, a bit of an asshole, yeah. And this is the third time you've got this car. Third time. And you're being annoying to it. After a grueling day of catching ghost plates and meeting fans. All right, ladies, we'll see you later. Look me up. I'm Ronnie Chang. I had to recognize all the great work Gersh was doing for the New York community. Has anybody ever given you a thank you card, a trophy, a plaque, a certificate uh, for the trophy. public service you're doing? That'd be ridiculous. No one's done that. Well, that's going to change today. What? Because on behalf of The Daily Show. Oh, my God. 
We got you your own ghost plate. This is outrageous. That's for you, Gersh. That's Go amazing. Ahead. Read it. To my favorite ghost plate killer, when it comes to busting ghost plates, who are you going to call? Gersh Kuntzman. Wow. Thank you, Gersh, for being the annoying snitch New York City needs to keep its streets safe. And you can thank me later.